Hiya. Are we a bit far away or is this okay? That's okay. Yay. Oh, I've got a big box of jewellery. It costs 70 pounds. Let's see if I can kind of tip and show you. Um I've had a quick like, you know, you know you have a quick little rummage when you open a box, don't you? And there's a lot of key rings in there, which I'm not particularly happy about because it doesn't say key rings in the title, but what can you do, eh? Just means I'll separate out the key rings and I'll sell them as a separate job lot if anybody wants key rings. People do collect them, don't they, I suppose? There might be some of interest, you never know. But yeah, big box of stuff. I don't know if I'll do it all right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm not vlogging today. Because it's just been one of those days today. Like every single annoying question, every single, you know, like, you, and then you try and calm down and, you know, try and sort something out for someone, you know, so for example, like trying to get hold of Hermes and their chat isn't working. Like, okay, like you try and put in the fault and it just goes like, oh, I'm glad we've helped you with this today. It's like, well, you haven't helped me with this. I, I'm still trying to, <sighs> so that was one of them. And then another one, like um, eBay chat just wasn't working this morning, so you couldn't call eBay. So, I'm so... Uh, and then replying to lots of emails. So if some of the emails were to you people, I'm really sorry for late replies and stuff. Um, and I haven't even looked at YouTube comments and things, to be honest. Um, and yeah, and just annoying things like, you know, when you do get a return, like they've finally sent you the return and just little things like I've had a, a dress return it's fine I, I'd, I'd already like given the refund before it even reached here because I just wanted to close the case um and then I get it and I don't expect it to come back you know like all pristine and everything it's just like don't just like I send it out nicely folded and it goes into um you know, a clothing bag, and then with my business card, sell the tape to the front, and then into another bag, and then it comes back like in some plastic with sell tape wrapped around it, just scrunched back into it. And it's like, oh, come on, <laughs> like, you know, it's just it, people's incon inconsiderations, and then somebody, two people. Um, sent me snarky messages because I'd sent them payment reminders and it's like well you did buy the item yesterday so today I'm sending you a payment reminder I think that's perfectly reasonable and it's like the automatic eBay one anyway like and they're like oh I've never been sent that before it's like well I don't know what but I'm sending you a payment reminder it's time to pay I'm doing my post and I know that partially some of it as well is that I am, um, I've been overstimulated over the weekend by seeing lots of people and going places and I went out yesterday with friends as well and so I know partially that some of it is like the down, the downer afterwards, this is the come down, this is the feeling sucky after a nice weekend sort of thing and it just seems that like this morning there's just been a lot of like poke, 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 you know, all of them. So yeah, anyway, and I know this, this calms me down. So, I'm just going to go through some of this. I might turn the light on, actually, it's a bit dark. Here we go. It's a bit better, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is. It's like having a holiday after a holiday, isn't it? You feel like you need to just go, like, decompress or something, you know. But, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like the... I've got a silly question. I've got a silly question. Like, oh, calm, calm, everyone, you know? Like, things will get sorted eventually, you know? They will. Like, I'm on it. Just don't me for it, you know? I have a feeling that there will be some nice little, like, vintagey bits in this one because there does seem to be um, a good mixture. This has come up from, it has come from a charity, from, like, um, like a regional, like, hospice. Um kind of charity I think so it's not like one of the big big ones so we've got some like carved celluloid to to look like ivory um I've got my bags here ready so broken lot vintage lot and then I run out of baggies so I'm putting two kilo lots in these for now until I get some more of the clear bags which I've ordered off Josh so if anybody needs clothing bags or, you know, the little like Ziploc jewellery bags, uh, Josh sells them. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm getting them off him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I, I mean, the amount, I, I sold some gold chains like over the weekend. The amount of messages I've had going, is this gold? And I'm like, well, I've put, nine karat gold 375 like in the title i put the weights and the measurement it says it's gold in the item specific and it's starting at like 50 quid so yes it's gold why do i even have to reply to you you know and generally messages like that i tend to sounds bad but when i get an like you know your spider senses tingle and you go, I bet that's going to be an awkward customer. You know, you just get a feeling sometimes, don't you? You know, you seem like you're going to be an awkward one. I'm just going to block you now and save myself the hassle later. You know. That's a nice little set of, like, even though they're stretchies, that's a nice little, see, a nice little set together. But again, that'll go in there. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Yeah. Like, and the thing is, I know it comes with the job and everything, and it's not that. It, it, again, it's like the culmination of things. Like, it is the come down after the weekend, so I'm already a little bit, you know, down. And then just, I don't like silly questions, you know? And I don't like people being pissy with me when there's no reason for them to be pissy with me. You get a payment reminder because you haven't paid yet. That's perfectly reasonable, you know? Hey, this is nice. Oh, and there's a, oh, oh that's cute. Look, it's a little Pikachu. Little Pikachu, like keyring clock thing. That's cute, isn't it? That's cute. But yeah, this is nice. So lovely bezel set crystals. Um, is it Avon? It looks yes, it's Avon. That's nice. That I'll sell that. Oh, I do, Anne. I do. Sometimes I even tell them in a. Not quite so nice way, you know. I mean, I had someone, you know, it, again, it's just little frustration, little frustration. I'm going to try and not talk about them now because like, now it's the afternoon and now I'm sorting jewellery and now it's a nice time. This is a nice bezel set one as well. See? It's got little, like, rope twists as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
Um, and the thing is, like a lot of these were auction ending as well. Now, if I'm bidding on an auction, I'm like, I'm there to see if, if I've won it. And then when I've won it, I'm like, oh, yes, thank you. I'll have that. Thank you. I've won. I've won that. That's good. I'll get it. Thank you. And I think it's perfectly reasonable. If you haven't paid on the Sunday night, Monday morning, you get a reminder. That I think that's perfectly fine. I'm about to do my post. I want to send you a little reminder so that hopefully you can get that and go, oh, yes, I'll pay that now. And then I can do my post, you know. Oh, in it just people asking for discount. Someone, um, I've got it's like a job lot of brooches, I think it is something like that. Twelve ninety nine. Someone goes, um, sends me a message going, "Can you go any lower? Will you take six for it? Like, what you want me to take half, like more than half of what it's listed for?" Oh, and another Avon one. It looks like. Oh, no, wait, who's this? Oh, this is a Trafari one, Trafari bezel set one. Yeah, so there you go, I've got three nice necklaces so far. Did I say how much this cost? This cost me 70 quid. 70 quid, I think it's probably about 10 kilos, I think. Oh, I've got another Pokemon. Anybody know? Red Pokemon. There might be a Pokemon job lot at this rate. I think there's definitely going to be a watches lot because I think I spy a few watches and there's definitely going to be a key rings lot by the looks of it. Ghost Tower, Warwick Castle. There are a lot of key rings from what I can see. I mean, what, what, who is that even? Some football -y thing, I don't know. Real Madrid. Exactly. People. People. Oh, what are you? You look a bit silver there for a minute, are you silver? Let's see. Let's see. You're not, but you're the back of you look silver. It's just a little sparkly heart thing. Exactly. That's what I don't get, Anne. And then just don't get pissy about a payment reminder the next day, especially one that I haven't even worded, you know? It's bizarre. Yeah, so it's just been, it's just been so many of those this morning. And thing is, a lot of them are questions that I would normally be okay in answering. But because they're one of many of these annoying-ish questions that I've had today, they all just get that little bit more like, oh, for God's sakes. You know? Here we are. Um, some, like, pretty enough things. Like, these are all going into two kilo lots. You know me. Obergurgle, that's a place. Obergurgle. 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 <laughs> I've got a box of watches to sort, but I know nothing about watch brands. Um, you can sometimes really surprise yourself with some watches, even if they're um, not working. Oh, that's pretty. Like that. That's got some nice little gold flower stations on it. Oh, well done, Josh. I was just telling people that I, um, I've um i ordered some more baddies off you because I needed some. Um, so I don't know if you want to put the link to your store in. That's a nice gold-plated rope twist. I'll sell that one. That's quite nice in 70s. Yeah, because I was saying that I'd uh, run out of them, so I'm like, Josh, I forgot I need bags. Oh, I've had a good cuddle with Azumi today. They are very therapeutic, aren't they? Little spangly thing. Hi, Shirley. I feel like it's him. Um... Honestly, like for genuinely, for the most part of it, it's absolutely fine. 
I know that it started off with me feeling a bit rotten because I'm coming down after a nice weekend. Hey, hey, Belle, how are you? Oh, it's a shame that's broken. Yeah, so it's come down over a nice weekend. That's how the mood started. And if nothing had gone wrong today, I would have gotten over that mood really quickly, you know? But because it's been a, a bunch of things, and then, you know, I always say, like, um, gravity and inanimate objects could, together are the worst things. So just things like everything was falling onto the floor today. The bubble wrap was attaching itself to my cellar tape holder. And, you know, you drop the pen and, you know, things like that. And you're like, oh... Things that normally would not annoy you, they've just all come one after the other after the other. Thank you, Josh. There you go. So if people are looking for little baggies or clothing bags, stuff like that, Josh can sort you out. He's a good boy. Uh, I don't know if, I think most of you now probably are members of my little group. So if you do want to be a member on that, I think people have been sharing their car boot finds from the weekend and getting help identifying things. having just little chats amongst themselves which is cool that's kind of unusual isn't it i mean that's only pure runa but that's quite unusual for them isn't it see it's not difficult is it it's not difficult <laughs> But you know, people, oh, that looks nice. What's this? I like that. Right, this is quite nice. I don't, don't know if it's silver, maybe stainless steel. But just a nice little bit of um, mother of pearl in there and a black enamel. That's just a nice little, nice little pendant. Don't know if it's silver. I might keep it aside and check it. It's just a nice little pendant. I think it would look nicer on a proper chain rather than black cord, but I'll keep that aside anyway. In tit. In tint tin. In tin. Tint tin. We like that one, do you? We can call that a... Oh I hope it's not a not a scary thing. I hope it's Call back from the doctor going, everything's grand. And it's all groovy, like turquoisey kind of beads. Yowza. That's, um, that kind of goes, isn't it? You've got a little keyring that's a little lighter. This is. Ah, Mont Saint Michel. I've been there. A little lighter. I've been to Mont Saint Michel. I remember having mint ice cream there, thinking that it was mint chocolate chip. But no, we're in France, so it's mint ice cream with actual bits of mint leaf in it. And there's me as like a nine year old going, mm -hmm. Oh, what? You've. I haven't seen any. Um, insulting comments from you try again then steve because i haven't seen you oh yeah it's a bit of a palaver isn't it oh tiny little silver earring that's probably a garnet in there that's cute oh um what did did my 
I think my mum had her cataracts done. Mum? Yeah? Did you have your cataracts done, laser treatment? Was it? Well, it was cataracts, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, mum says, yeah, fine. So, although it doesn't sound like the most, um, like, nicest of things, like, we went in uh, with my mum when she was having hers done, and um, the weight was probably worse than the actual thing, I think, according to mum. Like, I remember her coming out and going, like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Like, a bit weird, but, yeah, it's fine. So I hope it goes okay. I hope it gets seen very quickly while you're in there. But she definitely wasn't in any kind of, you know, pain or discomfort or anything. Hey Carla. And um I think it was quite like the recovery was quite quick as well, you know. Good. That's okay. <laughs> oh, right. Some unusual silver cufflinks. I'm sure. Did you see the one with birds on that I had the other week? They were quite pretty. They were silver. Oh. Yeah, right, that must be it, Steve. Never mind. Sorry. I mean, thanks for thinking of me. Are you silver or gold? We've got a little earring back with something on it. Where's my loop a little loop? Loop a little loop? There we are. Oh, yes. Tell them all to piss off. Yeah, exactly. That's just a little bit of silver. It's a little gold plated silver back there to go in the pile. A nice little, it looks like a gold plated necklace. This looks quite cute, but it's whether I can be bothered to untangle it. I'm just going to put these in the two kilo lot. You can have some jewellery for free if you want, Steve. I've got a box that I was... This is another one that's pissed me off today, you see. I've got a box of... Um, it's brand new with tags jewellery. Um, but stuff that... It's multiple quantities. I'll show you some of them. So it's like like that. I've got loads of these, right? And um like multiple quantities. And a bunch of other stuff as well. So I've got like two hundred items and I just like put the picture, like took a quick picture of it, um, put it on Facebook Marketplace, going like look, it's about two hundred items in here. Um who wants it? And then Mess is going like you got any more pictures and so it sends you know some closer up pictures like oh well I can only really see the packaging I'm like yeah I know they're all in packaging I'm not going to take them out of the packaging to take photos for you if I'm going to do that might as well list them on eBay <laughs> a concourse keyring that's probably worth a little thing isn't it but see you can have some jewelry if you like you know you are more than welcome. I'll probably just end up putting them on um, auction or something on eBay. Hello, yes, and I've got um, I've got some big pearly necklaces for you, Zoosh. But you had a lovely painted heart necklace this morning. I don't know 
Oh, I'm thinking that Josh is probably talking to Carla, maybe. But yes, it's okay, Carla. I totally understand. <laughs> totally understand if you don't want to watch. That's um, an interesting combination of things there. That's actually some quite nice beads, though. Hmm. Quite nice. I'll put it back in the little thingy. And then some like multi strand thing in my bob. And look, it's a little, little robin in a scarf pin badge. And a bunch of solo earrings. And you see there probably be in a lot of rubbish in this <laughs> yeah I get you Kukui tree nuts, genuine kukui tree nuts, made in the Philippines. Interesting. We've got little Jeebus and his mum on there. I've uh, got to go, I've done nothing today, I need to do some work. Okay. Um, did you see that, that uh, I did send you a link to a warehouse job, Steve, so you know, I might consider you should consider working in a warehouse. I reckon you'd uh, be adequate at that. Shoe charms to put on your laces. That's something different, isn't it? Joy butterfly ring. I do uh, rings a lot as well. So a lot of these. Look at that. That's a beast. He's kind of fun and Halloween is coming. I might, I might try and sell him. Although I say Halloween is coming, I don't find list it in time for Halloween. <laughs> Keyring. Keyring. Who's this? Yes, it does look like Prunella, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't, but I've had a Prunella one the other day and it wasn't signed. I mean, and it was signed, but this one isn't. So you're right, it does It does look like them, but I can't see anything on it that says it. Do you think I should keep that one aside then? I'll keep that one aside. Thank you. It's nice to have second opinions on things, isn't it? The hive mind. Oh, you're not very late, Julie, honestly. You have arrived exactly on time. <laughs> Our little sparkly set. Steve says definitely uh, Defo Prunella. Okay. Little sparkly set. Hiya, Joni Joan. Those are probably Swarovskis in there. They're nice crystals. But you know me, that'll go in the two kilo lot. And if anybody wants a two kilo lot before I list them on eBay, please do let me know. Saves me doing it. Bunch of charm type things someday. Got a watch, got a, a duck knee watch, duck knee. Never been used by the looks. Oh no, maybe it has. Yeah, DKM watch, uh, DKMY watch in box though, with extra links. I'll see if that's worth anything. That might be sold separately or it might go into a watch's lot. We shall see. Oh, see those got little lava stones on there, little lava stones. 
Hi, Noah. And hi, Teresa from Michigan, US of A. Got some hematite beads in there. Hi, Carla. Little badges. Little badges and pin badges I keep aside for Steve. Because I'm nice like that. He likes selling his badges, so I'll get him some badges. That's Paw Patrol, isn't it? And this is Piggin Present Presents. Piggin. Piggin brooch um, badge there. It's a little set of keys. They come in handy sometimes. But then tells me there's gonna be a lot of these little packets of Jewelries. Oh, what are you? Oh, that's cute. Steve's not having this one, so this is nice. But that's cute, like a little cello. Cello. Hi, Lainey. I'll sell that one because I like it. Little bangles and earrings. Yeah. We get in there. Um, keep Scotsman steaming, steaming, steaming. That means something else in Wales. N R M. Hi, Jordan. We were talking about you yesterday, Jordan, because I was out out with the Rossettis. Because we have mutual friends. And it's just kind of funny. And they and they were like, oh yeah, we know Jordan. We've known him since blah blah blah. <laughs> like it's so funny, isn't it? Hello from Arizona. Nice. And these places. Get in there. There's a lot of just empty baggies in this, which is, you know. Yes, we were definitely talking about you, yeah. Yeah. What's that? Is that a belt or a necklace? It's a beckless. <laughs> With an earring. Stretchy pearly. Oh. A little bag of earrings. I don't fancy going through that just yet. This is a nice cuff. Cuff bangle, vintage one. I think it's Sphinx. It's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> you don't understand the phrase your ears were burning because someone was talking about you. Oh, we've got a little St. Christopher. No, it's not. No, it's that's not a St. Christopher. That's a naked lady. Look. Naked lady? What's that about? Naked lady? How saucy. Hmm? Little watch. Elizabeth Rose. The watch is locked. What's this? Oh, that looks like maybe a bit of jasper, a little pendant. It's an odd one, isn't it? An odd one. Got lots of odd earrings. These are quite nice little metal bangles. I don't think they're silver, but they just feel nice. Oh dear rings, oh dear rings. And the little pony, a little abalone pony. It's an abalone pony. <laughs> Nick lady, Nick lady. Sounds the best in that accent. Sounds better than in Welsh accent anyway. Nick lady. Little 
sparkly flower necklace. Oh yes, I spotted this earlier. That's a good bangle, isn't it? That's a nice bangle. And it's particularly, yes, because it is signed in there. Jackie Brazil. Is the value of gold jewellery always dependent on weight? No. Um, uh, I mean, the weight gives you the, your guide price. But no, it's definitely probably more dependent on design or equally dependent design and manufacturer. In fact, with a lot of things, the manufacturer, like the name, where it's come from, where the assay office is, can sometimes be a very big deciding factor in the price. Like if you've got a rare goldsmith or silversmith, you know, with like a nice vintage Birmingham hallmark or something, then um, that would definitely like raise the price on stuff, you know. Oh, Lainey. You know, it is lovely, isn't it? Fab colours. I think that's one of the, I like it when she does like the stripey ones. But yeah, fab. Good seller, like always a good seller is um, Jackie Brazil stuff. Oh, a little hair clip with hearts on. You don't have the best luck, do you, Arlene? Oh, look at that little enamel. The bee hornet. And another Pokemon. So we might be having a bizarre little Pokemon lot going on in here. Oh, they're pretty. Pretty little earrings by Coast. I think, yep, there you go. So that's, that's a two kilo bag. <laughs> it does look tasty, doesn't it? I've got some Jackie Brazil um, just red plastic like nugget earrings and they look, definitely look like you know like an everlasting god stopper. Very nice. Very, very nice. And Nice and easy to post. <laughs> mm. Yum yum. Look, we've got the snowman. The snowman. We're walking in the air. Oh, we've got a little silver, silver earring. Just the one so far, but that's nice. See a little sunshine in there. And oh, look, that's cool. So there's an earring to match that pendant from earlier. So, worst comes to the worst, and I don't find the matching earring, I can always. Oh no, they are slightly different, bugger. Bugger. But, anyways, that was an idea while well, it was very short lived. <laughs> but you never know, hopefully, the other ones in there. I'm going to put them in Zush's lot because they're nice big pearly beads. So ages ago Zush asked me to start keeping big, big beads like that. So that's what I've been doing. I'm nice like that. They wanted very specific things that I, I don't get too many of those. Um, so I've been trying to keep them when I do see them. That's a fun little stretchy with the skulls on it, isn't it? Oh, itchy eye. There we go, right. We're starting on the next two kilo bag. I've got I've got some nice things for me to sell myself, so I'm like I'm happy, you know. I'm happy already. It's definitely some more Pokemon. Look, 
and got another Pokemon. Ooh, that's a bugger. I think my sister had to have that done as well. But I think it's a, a thing of like, but you're also much better afterwards. The empty box. This is definitely, you know, like they've just piled stuff in. Marks and Spencer's, the silver plated collection. 18 pounds brand new in Marks and Spencer. Going in two kilo left. It's like, these are like the Russian bangles. I can't even get out my hand. I've got small hands. Maybe it's for a channel. Some little surfer beads, and we've got a pretty brooch. Hang on. These are always broken, always. Lovely little pansies. But they always have chips on them. It's a miracle when they when you get them home whole. So that'll go into a broken brooch as well. Quite an odd one, isn't it? Statement. Statement. What are you? A little seahorse key ring. Is this another po it's another Pokemon? Look. Another Pokemon. Yeah, it is a shame, isn't it? That always happens with them ones, especially when they're in a job lot like this. They've just got no protection. I've had a few in boxes that have been obviously okay because they've been still, uh, still quite nice. Um, it didn't say cold port on it, but a lot of them are. This one isn't signed at all, but you're right, cold port is one of the, the makers to do it, definitely. I climb Snowden. I use those flowers in my doll's house furnished. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's cute. Curly ring for ring rot. Oh dear, Lainey. That is horrible. I hope you're not in too much discomfort for too long, you know? That is truly sucky. Got a couple of rings. That looks quite nice. And then this one, it's like, oh, there's a mark on the outside, but I know for a fact that that'll just say plated. Yeah, it's um, like 18 karat gold plated and it's missing a little stone as well, which is a shame. So that would have been quite nice and I probably would have sold that one, like if it wasn't missing its stone. That's a shame. Never mind. Stretch, stretch. Nice little vintage glass ring that'll go in into a vintage lot. Little flowery clip. We've got some it's a nice glass pendant, isn't it? Yes, maybe stay away from scrambled eggs for now. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> for the haters. A little pendant. I do little pendant slots as well because you know crafters like to make little things, little crafter groups get together and do these things. I always just assume that because I'm a reseller that everybody that once jewelry lots are also resellers and stuff. Not always the case, is it? You know, lots of crafters, lots of collectors. Oh, these are some pretty earrings. These little filigree. 
There's something on the inside. I'm hoping it's going to say silver. Oh, yeah. Yep. Use a silver. That's nice. Lovely pair of silver clip ons. Aren't they? Ooh. Chicken soup for the soul, isn't it? Sorry, someone's just trying to put me off. It's not working. Oh, that's a shame. That's just broken. Some, I reckon Art Deco, if not older, clip on earrings. Probably French jet. Might have a go at fixing them because they just need gluing back on. They would be lovely, definitely. Very, very old, lovely. So I will try and fix them. They're gonna be a project. I quite like them. We've got a little, a little bit of gold. Maybe. A maybe gold earring with an interesting little, maybe gold. Oh, I know. Cute, aren't they? Definitely worth, definitely worth saving, I think. Definitely worth saving. Put all these solo earrings to one side. Oh, that's not going to be pleasant, Lainey. You poor thing. That's horrid. Oh yes, look. There looks to be a whole bag of these. So I'm going to keep them separate because if you're buying a two kilo job lot of jewellery, you tend to want them all to be different, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Right, so I'll keep them separate. So you can go with that box of um, brand new tags jewellery. I do like these big bangles. I like the gold and silver together. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? That's nice. But you know, you know me. And there they go. <laughs> Got a type it. Oh, and yes, I will send you a picture later, or you might have to remind me later to send you a picture um, of those cufflinks. I'm sure they were in a Sparkly Things video. Not this one, maybe the one before, perhaps. Some vintage plastic beads for the look. And then this looks like a Sustratton tie clip. I do have a tie clip slot, so that'll go in there with them. And then these will go into a vintage slot as well as some pearly ones. Hmm. Oh dear. An Australia keyring. Steve, shouldn't you be doing some work and not lurking, trying to put me off? Little Scotty dog keyring. Go do some work. Wow, these are very deco looking. Like, is that paint on there? Yes, it is. Or makeup. Like, I don't think particularly old, but very Art Deco in style, aren't they? Very empire. Hmm. But in the two kilo lot they go. And then we've got little blue clippies. Oh, don't worry, Gaynor, there's, there's 
plenty, plenty more. Plenty more. We're just going to sit here. Nice glass crystally one. I'll go into vintage lot. And then this is like, uh, these are all made out of twisted paper. It's kind of fun. Hi, Jason. Got a little carved bangle. I'm not sure what the carvings are of, though. See if anyone there can kind of figure it out. I'm not sure. Who can say? Yes, there you go, do some work, you naughty boy. And the bang was a lot. Got some kind of watch things. It's a what oh, it's like a it's like a Fitbit cover or something. I don't even know if it's for a Fitbit. I don't know, but I'm gonna put that into the broken lot because someone might know something or something they can do with it. Do it with it, do something with it. This might be gold. It's got a bit of tea staining. So like the gold is slightly darker because it's reacted with the chemicals that your body produces. And I think it might be, I'll keep it aside to test. Anyway, let's keep that aside. What about these bits? No. Oh, a little sparkly crystal, but it's... <sighs> You're a bad boy, Steve. Bad boy. Bad, 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 bad boy. And what's this? Oh, got a little silver pendant. It's even... They even marked it as silver themselves. So I'm sure I'll be able to find a little silver chain to put this on at some point, but we've got a little faux pearl and sparkly silver pendant there. Hello there, Sally Kelly. How are you doing? Oh, these are pretty. Little sparkly clip-ons. I might sell them. I'll keep them aside for now anyway. There's a nice little... Uh, what beeped then? Something beeped and it wasn't me. There's a watch or something that just beeped. So there's more watches in here and one of them works. Hooray! <laughs> So this is a nice little glass necklace. It does have a bit of wear to the back, which is a shame, but it's fab like watermelon glass, iris glass. It's fun, isn't it? But that'll go into a job lot. And then some enamel thingy in there. Okay, could it be this one that's beeped? No, I doubt it. Stainless steel watch XL or something. The watch is locked. Got a little Jeebus thing for Jeebus lot. <sighs> right. Oh, that's quite nice. Little bit of faux amber. That's quite nice. It's got very good stretch on it as well. So it's vintage, but its stretch hasn't gone. I like that. I'll sell that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like that. And a couple of nice bangles so far. Doctorina Perpetua. Don't know what that means. It's another key ring. Key rings aren't jewellery. I don't understand why they're in there. I have no idea what that is. More of these little packets so new with tags there. 
an elephant keyring. Uh, I hope that's not real fur keyring. Stretchy things. We need more necklaces to go in this lot, don't we? What's that? Oh, that's like a that's a clasp. Hmm. Little dragon spinner keyring. I have not made any more silver jewelry recently, I'm afraid. I'm not that I've gone off it, I haven't gone off it, I just haven't done it, <laughs> I don't know, I'll get back to it at some point soon, it's just that I'll have a few days of like, rah, 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 I'll go for it and then nothing for a while, got some pin badges, little, I think they're Macmillan ones, A little pin badge locked. Oh, that stretch is just about to go on that one. Two little beaded necklace. I will definitely get back to it at some point because, like, I do really enjoy doing it. It's just there seems to be always something else to do, and when there's something else to do, and you've got to, you know, get all of your tools out and prep the area and. You're just like, oh, I'll do it another day, you know, which is bad, but. But then also I can do it whenever I want. There's no rush, is there? It's a hobby. Come on. And rings, the rings up. This all wants to stay together for some reason. So we've got like a multi strand in there, a black beaded one. I'm going to try and get these shells out of there because I'm not going to put them into the two kilo yet. It's a nice bit of glass there. Hi, Wayne. They'll go, all of them go in two kilo lots. Somebody else can detangle them. I'm not in the mood. Right, some more of these chunky pearly beads. The, Zusha's lot. So, oh, I just lost my voice there for a second. Did you hear that? They're fun. Wow. Yeah, exactly. For when it's, you know, there's not much going on, just want to sit inside for a bit. That's when, yeah. That's quite a nice pair of earrings, isn't it? Yeah, that's fun to do it really, isn't it? Right, a lot of bracelets. I don't want to overload that bag. The stretchy bracelets, see? It's not fair. More little clippies. They're quite cute with the, the bright stones, aren't they? I think they're quite old, 1930s maybe. I might sell though, they're nice. And there's a nice little cross, a nice sparkly cross. And some little enamel pierced earrings, probably put them in to a vintage lot, they're not signed, but yeah they can go in into vintage lots. Let me, they look like might be stones, like actual, might be garnet at the bottom there and a pearl, might keep them aside and test. Easy ring. Looks like a moon, doesn't it? We've got an Anna key ring. Could they go in the verity pile? <laughs> sure. What those the blue 
the blue clip-ons, of course, of course. Um, mm -hmm. ah. Wow, oh, I'll have to watch that. It is, uh, there was um, a Fabergé piece on Antiques Roadshow when I was little, I don't know if I've told you, I've probably told you this before, but that was the one that made me go, I want to find Fabergé at a car boot sale. That's like, that's the dream. <laughs> to find a Fabergé brooch at a car boot sale. I would love that. Because there was a beautiful Fabergé brooch they had once and she was like, oh yes, I bought it 50 pence. And it was worth like, yeah in the tens of thousands. A little birdie. Don't know if it's silver, I don't think it is. I'll keep it aside to test it. Oh, that's Tutti and Co. I recognize I recognise that bracelet. Quite like Tutti and Co stuff. It's one of those like um along the lines of Pilgrim and that sort of stuff. But I kinda like their things because they're a little bit you know, rustic looking. So I might sell that one because I quite like it. Mm. Do do do. Oh, do. <sighs> See, I'm totally more chilled now. I'm totally more chilled. It's like I've forgotten everything that that happened this morning. <sighs> Red cup. It was a red cup. And why was the red cup special? Oh, all of that's just going to go in. Can't be bothered to entangle them. What's this little earring here? No, I don't think you're gold, but. Um, and that just says Avon. <laughs> Avon are mean because like they put writing on on there and you go like oh is that something oh it's Avon and I fall for it every time oh I see yes because they don't just make jewelry they make a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of stuff oh I think I can see what the Beep beep was. It's a Casio watch. Its strap is broken now, but I think that's the one that went did beep. Oh, I just had a stressy morning, Nadine. It's just one of those like it's come down from the weekend because I had a nice socializing fun weekend and then I always feel a bit miserable after that. Yes. No, that, that's the one that they're talking about, Jordan, further up, yeah. So I'm going to have to watch that because, like, it's on the, the dream list of things to find is some Fabergé, and then I would keep it. I, I would not. If I found Fabergé, I would keep it. I've had a Fabergé egg, but not original Fabergé. It's, um, you know, newfangled, like, uh, with the reproductions of old designs, and it's from, like, the grand niece of Fabergé or something. Um, so I've had that one, but I didn't like it, so I sold it. But I would love, obviously, a proper, proper Russian Fabergé brooch. Mm. Well, quite possibly. <laughs> Don't want to get on the wrong side of them. Jokes, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm going to make a little pile of bracelets over here. Oh, it's a shame that that's broken. All the wooden bits. And that's the end of that ca Casio watch, but that's very broken. It's a shame. Oh, here we go. Here's a massive bit of amber that I'm going to get a million bucks for. It's not. It's just plastic resin. What a fun pendant that is, eh? That's kind of cool. 
I quite like that. I'll sell that one. I think someone will like that. Yeah, because it's just weird, isn't it? Yes. Um, they do do they do like the little ones as well, don't they? I think I've had a couple of them in my time as well. Um, and they are quite cute. Nice if you've been there to get one, obviously, isn't it? I have not, no, haven't found any David Yeoman. Not that I've known, known of, anyway. More bloody key rings. So many key rings. Key rings are not jewellery. I don't understand why they put them in. There we are. Blue teardrop. Have you had have have you had them then? I, I mean, I, I are there? Does it say David you you Euroman on it? Would I know? That's Marks and Spencers. There you go. I've had a Marks and Spencers necklace and some more. I'm holding up for some old cameos. Ah. I did have a lovely silver cameo the other week. Did you see the Ward Brothers one? That was dead nice. Sterling silver one. That's broken. Oh, look. Little enamel hearts. Not a golden vintage shot. Oh, that's a crazy one. This reason was different gardens. My friend got married there in different gardens. I think I'm a person that made a Nunt Garrow. Nunt Garrow. Oh, I wonder what porcelain that is then. I don't know much about Welsh pottery. I know we've got the Ueni pottery just down the road and that's about it. <laughs> that's a Mewtwo Pokemon. Mewtwo. Right, I think I'm safe to put a couple of bracelets in that lot now. That's quite a nice bracelet, isn't it? A bit chunky one. That goes in there. Hi, Kath. Ring foot rings lot. And then we've got these. What are these ones called? Can't remember. They are quite useful, though, aren't they? They'll go into it. In with all the key rings that are apparently jewellery. There is so much, I mean, like, what the, you know, for a mini, 46 and a half P. I might try and sell that, actually, because it's for a mini and because it's vintage. I'll probably try and sell that. Carabiner, that's the word, isn't it? Carabiner. That's kind of cute. So we've got. A little case. Directions genuine leather. Little travel case. With a little clock on the top. That looks quite nice. So I've got his keys. I might try and sell that. That's all right, or even use it. That's quite useful, isn't it? That's cool. Gold plated Marks and Spencers doesn't say what they normally originally wanted for that. I reckon that was probably about like 10 quid now and then. Oops. Another Pokemon. God knows what that one is. I do. Wow. Nice. Very nice. We'll definitely look out for that then. <laughs> and some vintage beads by the look of it, glass beads. Made in West Germany. It's quite nice, little multi strand. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. 
a little brooch jar, but it's missing some stones. So that'll go into broken brooch lot. A little scarf ring that's a snake. That's fun. I love the Pokemon theme tune. Some prayer beads. I wonder if that's silver. Mm, maybe not. And I think there's a bit missing off the end, perhaps. On the side. Cheshire workshops, the candle makers. I don't mind them putting in key rings, you know, it's just, it's a heck of a lot. That is a very good score then, if you only played that. Out. Very good. Well done. Do you know what I would really love? A Goodwill Blue Box. <laughs> you know, the ones that Margaret Texas Girl Treasures opens. They look like fun. Right, so now I've got a bag for rubbish. Yeah, and I shall just weigh this bag and see how we're getting in. One five left on that. Put this long, nice beaded necklace. Hi, Amy. Yeah, exactly. There is, there is, I reckon there's certainly going to be like at least half a kilo, if not a kilo, of key rings. Which, key rings aren't jewellery. Oh, okay. Verity. Oh, clip is very loose on one. But you can have these, Verity, if you want them. I'll put them in your pile anyway. Hi, Mummy. Hi, I'm going to put the kettle on, sorry. Okay, Mum's going to put the kettle on. Talk oh, amongst yourselves. Mum says talk amongst yourselves. Quick interlude. The potter's wheel. Yes. <laughs> what was the music that went on with the potter's wheel? I remember. See, I want to go do 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 But that's Blur. That's Super Shopper by Blur. Some Monet earrings. Inside them. And the Max and Spencer's necklace. And Catherine have a fruit tea, she says. Okay, what flavour? You know, we've got quite a few, haven't we? <laughs> there we no, no. Let me use them. Well, because I had a, a moment, didn't I? Mm. I needed it as well. I was like, mm. yeah, fruit teas. We did the start of the summer. Then we went off them. And then we went, mm. and then we bought far too many. Mm. And then went, yeah, I'm not doing them. <laughs> this is a nice little sparkling set. Unsigned, that nice necklace and bracelet. And kind of party of tiger stuffed animal. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Do we have a mango flavour? We might do actually. Mango flavour what? Fruit tea. We probably do. Mm. I don't think so. No? Lemon and ginger. Lemon and oh yeah. Black currant. A nice cookie. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Nice red grass and glass. Lovely. That's that, that. You can have a wine if you like. Just because it's not Friday doesn't mean you can't. Yeah. I'm having a wine. Messy. Bunch of wine. Well done, Mummy. I was having a wine this morning, didn't I? Mm. The people! Why did it have to be so people-y? Ah! Bloody hate people sometimes. Some little brown cookies that are going there. Vintage lot. 
I'm hoping for, for this one to turn up somewhere because that's a nice oh it is it's there it's there it's there that's nice I like these it's missing a bloody stone typical shame bloody typical well I'll keep them aside they might be fixers Got a pointy ring. That looks like a sharp device, doesn't it? I know, rude, rude. How dare it. Oh, you go. No, you're not. Never mind. <laughs> that was a very quick song there. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Thank you Mummy. Oh, hello. That's a nice earring, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. I did start without you. I started without you ages ago now, but don't worry. There's still some left. And, oh yes, nine carat gold. Well, one little nine carat gold and crystal earring. That's pretty, isn't it? Yay. Aww, that's cool. I hope you find some treasures. Some nice bits. I'm happy with what I've got from this so far. I mean, I'm always happy with a big box of jewellery anyway, regardless. Yep, gold. Let's just hope the other one's in there. I mean... I am doubtful, but you never know. Um, oh, this is a tangle of stuff that I'm not interested in detangling, to be honest. So I can just go straight in there. Oh, we're nearly at the two kilos on that one. Oh, that's a little set of necklace and earrings, so I'll keep it in there. Mm. Oh, yep, yeah, there, there we go. That's two kilos. So I've got two two kilograms. Oh, Amy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That's really sweet. Hmm. What shall I spend that on? Um, can I treat myself to a Costa from it later on in the week? I think that's what I might do. Yeah. <laughs> Love from Nebraska. My favourite of all the Braskas is Nebraska. True story. <laughs> oh, there's earring cooked up in here. Yep, definitely a Costa. Costa coffee. I like a pasta. Right. Little starry necklacy thingy. And then these beady necklacy thingies. And that one, they all got ring in there. Got some clip ons, but they're two different clip ons. Right. Ooh. Question Have you ever used the cherry amber? Is it so more? Oh wow! Yeah, I think it is just it. I think it still glows. I'm pretty sure. I think also if you put a normal light through it, you can see like the wisps. I think. Ba -da! Right. So what's in here, Max and Spencer? It's gold plated. They were selling for no, it doesn't say what they were selling it for. Ah, oh, well that's quite pretty. Oh, nineteen pounds fifty. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, I can put these out in this one, can't I? Hello, how are you? Oh, right, I think I've got a match to this clip-on. 
Nice gold plated by the looks of it. Gold plated like a flat chain. <laughs> it looks like one too. It's see through and it glows and it changes lights. So it could be a time travel device. It is indeed a TARDIS. It's a, ooh, a watch, but. The fairy bit on there is uh, going a bit grey. That's very exciting though if they are. That's cool. What's that? Oh, it is a bracelet. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Very heavy. But I wonder if that was like a decoration of sort. That's cool. <laughs> well, it's part of their job though, isn't it, Lainey? You know? Right, what on earth is that? So, but why is there a pointy? What's that for? That's odd, isn't it? A peng in. And the Manx cat, I'll tell him. And this is the bangles. Ooh, that's cool. How are you? Oh, I like this. In a weird kind of sort of. It's a pen, is it? But it's not, though. No ink comes out. It's literally just pointy. There's no ball point to it, or a braddle, braid or braddle. Hmm. Now I would have thought that would be some kind of named necklace, you know, but I can't find anything on it. Oh well, in two kilo it goes. It's, it has lost its ball. Another Pokemon. Looks like a little weasel thing. And another oh, sadly broken porcelain china brooch. Shame. Starting off holes before drilling. Oh, okay. I suppose that could be. I don't know. Yes. I'm going to agree with you and say yes. Balls! I like how Dee just comes in and goes, balls! <laughs> Absolutely, balls to them all. Oh, it's another one of those necklaces. Obviously from a shop then, to have two of the same, so this is like... I put them both in, because then they could have a multi-listing. Mean Valley Whale Rays, Railways Whale Rays. Uh, no, I will not be accepting that offer. Sorry. Mm. Marwell Zoological Park. Some little tigers. Yes, hello, Dee. Very fine entrance you made just then. It's a nice little faux pearl bracelet, but they're pretty colours. And we've got a little imp, a little pixie. Wow, how about that for a ring? Let's see if I can, look at that. That's bonkers, isn't it? <laughs> well, maybe we were talking about you. Um. What does that say? Oh, made in Czechoslovakia, these piles. But sadly, old and broken. They're not real pearls. Mm. So they'll go in there. Got another watch. This is a watch on a stretch. 
and the Boy Watches lot and wrap around seed or wood maybe and there an accurist watch and a stretch and a British Red Cross pin single earring single earring single earring single earring I also keep solo earrings for um for one particular crafter as well. Oh, are they a crafter? I can't remember. They do something with them anyway. That's a nice little pair of earrings. That's kind of cute. I like them with the chains. Bit Studio 54. I might sell them. A glittery COVID ball ring. Yeah, that was that was more than 50% off. And so I, I I'm sorry, no. 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 10% of my asking price you get like off my asking price you get a, a definite i will take your offer up to 20 percent is a yeah okay yeah um going on to 30 percent, i start doing the little bit cheeky but depending on how much item costs me and how long i've had it and all of that stuff i'll probably take your offer more than 30 percent. i'm kind of going ouch that's probably you know a lot of my profit gone there and it depends how much i want to get rid and then 50 percent or more it's just it doesn't matter how long i've had it or whatever it's just a downright no oh, that's that's very cheeky now you know no mama's gotta keep the kitties in felix you know Um, if you are a member of the Sparkly Things um, group as well, there are some people asking for um, advice on some stuff. Um, so, you know, hive mind if there's something on there that you recognise that people are asking about, do let them know. Ooh, a little seconder watch, it's got a bit scratch. Um, as I always say, your your price. Yeah, exactly. I I am reasonably well priced anyway. So to to go, you know, more than fifty percent off my already quite reasonable price is a bit like, yeah, yeah. Oh, Josh is cool. Josh was here not so long ago, actually. I mean, not here. I mean, he was in the chat. He's had a nice morning of sales, I think, so he's had some some packing to do, so he should be a happy boy. Oh, look at that. That is a tangle of beads, and, and, and I'm not going to attempt that. That's just going straight in there. Dreamies do catnip cats. Ooh. My cats do love catnip and dreamies. It's a dangerous combination. We are getting towards the end here, guys. By the way, we're nearly getting to um, the tiny little bits at the bottom. All right, so we've got Claire's accessories, no stud, little no stud thingy. Some Marks and Spencer's silver plated um, earrings going in there. Again, some more of these. I do I do think these are quite nice. Oh my word, yes, I know. The amount of breakables that Josh like I wouldn't have the patience to I had to package up one like breakable cat thing uh, this morning and that was enough. That was enough. <laughs> Another Pokemon. <gasps> that is cheeky, isn't it? That is cheeky. No. I mean, I know we're all like trying to be good sellers and everything, but there's such thing as trying to be a good buyer as well, you know? This ring is quite nice. I wonder if this is something. That's just a quite nice ring, that, isn't it? 
possibly silver plated. I don't think I can see any marks, but I quite like that. That might be something that I'll test. I'll test it for silver. I don't think it is, but it might be, possibly. But that's that's an interesting, an interesting thing. I love Wales. <laughs> Bloody loves Wales, I do. Oh, that's a cute little set. Colleen, is that Colleen Rooney? So, little set. Um, I'll keep that aside for now, and if I if I need something else in my two kilo bag, there I'll put that in. But we'll see. Um, some more. No, actually, I'll put them in the broken lot. They've already got one set of notes, so they probably won't want more. Um, a little pendant with a pile on it. <laughs> Did <-dum> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I was definitely having kittens. Um, pineapple, but it's a broken key ring, so that can go in there. It's quite random as well, isn't it? Quartz analogue. Yeah. Oh, we've got um, Barcelona 1992 Olympics pin badge. That'll be a collectible thing, won't it? And what does this say? No. Bangle, bangle. Little pendant, which I put in pendant lot. Yeah, no, I think I'll, I'll think I'll do a little job lot of Pokemon stuff. I think there'll be a, a kid out there quite excited about. It. I mean, I've got another one now. There's another one. Yeah, another Pokemon. Yeah. Colleen's name and mother's lesbian mother. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Keep calm and carry on. Um, a bit of a nail thing. Oh, looks like we've got some more bezel set stuff in here. We like bezel set stuff. It's pretty. I like bezel set. Looks like a vintage one. I can't see it. A maker. Shame it hasn't got a Swarovski thing on it, but that's a lovely one. Nice little bracelet there. That's a pretty one. I do like bezel set. Nice. A little black sparkly necklace. Um, the Disney Mickey with J key ring. Yes, another one of these hematite and pink glass bracelets with a lot of stuff attached to it. You can go in there. Oh, that's a nice ring. Uh, West Germany. That's a pretty little vintage marker seat ring. Oh, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? That would be really bloody nice. One day, one day, I'd like the just include, just include, um, bracelet. They're kind of fab. This is very heavy. Very heavy bangle, like so it must be pewter. I'm guessing that's crazy heavy. Bizarre. Hmm. I might sell that one just because it's an odd thing. You know, it's an odd thing. And some random crystal beads. Earrings can go in there. Oh, is that a pair? We've got a pair. Kind of Art Nouveau inspired earrings can go in there. Where are we at to on the scale here? Maybe on one, two, three, nine. I don't think we're going to make the third bag. Possibly not. Oh, wow. We've got a peacock, I 
think it must have been like the lid of something. I think it was like, yeah. It does look handmade, doesn't it? Could be bronze, yeah. Like a coated. Another Australia key one. Yeah, it could be. Mm, a little heart and some crystal. There, what necklace is this? Yeah. Sparky Lariat type. Oh, that's a cute key ring. I've got like Mother of Pearl but carved into like a shark or a whale. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. And and it's kind of hard to describe the quality to someone as well. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Yay. Nice pair of earrings. Hello, Ninky Nonk. How are you? Me Mother Gissy? Mother Gissy. Mother Gissy? Mother Gissy. What's that? How are you, Nick? I've been miserable this morning, but I am well cheered up now. Which is good. Ah, oh, tits. <laughs> tits. Uh, makes me laugh. Las Vegas. Um, no, no wiggles just yet, but I did think maybe this, perhaps, if, you, if you're interested in that one. It's a town in Cornwall, there we go, thank you. Got a little, another little imp. Some little, oh, these would have been very pretty little clip ones, but they're just missing a little stone there, that's a shame. And we've got a little wire necklace, but I won't take it out of there because it'll be a bugger. All of these solo earrings. And beads, and bead and bead. And the little heart key ring. And that's a nice little ring. That's possibly, what's that, adventuring in there, maybe? Pretty little ring, that'll go in the vintage lot. And we've got a nice little crystal solo earring. That's pretty, isn't it? Pretty pretties. Mm, dainty little necklace there. One in there. And then, are you gonna be gold? I can already tell you're not gold. Boo, hiss, why aren't you gold? Pretty though. It's going to be Avon, isn't it? These are going to say Avon. Yep. Little pair of Avon earrings. I'll put them back in that thing. Keep them together. Right. We're coming to the bottom of the box. Scrape all the bits out. Out the lot. Che always check under your flaps, people. Always check under your flaps. All right. This is the last, the last bit. Another one of them fab bangles. <laughs> I like my gem tester. I'm a Dibbington survivor. I'm a Stibbington survivor. Just filmed you on the laptop. You, yay! I'm gonna be in an Inky Nunk vlog. Hooray! <laughs> That's cool. Trusty the Hedgehog. What will you discover? I don't know. Oh dear. Liverpool Football Club. I heard they had a football club. I presume they do okay with it. 
Another Pokemon. Who's this young chap? Is that Wellington or Nelson? One of them old guys. Another Australia. Key ring. Someone very much liked Australia, didn't they? We've got, oh, that's a shame. That would have been quite a nice pendant, but the fused glass is unfused. That goes in broken. Got a nice pair of milk of glass. West Germany, so probably 1950s. Clip on earrings, they're nice, aren't they? Very nice, they're cute, cute, cute. It's a butterfly ring, a snowman pin badge. We've got some beads. Let's get rid of these beads. I like the little bits at the end. Napoleon? Napoleon? You look too tall to be Napoleon. Maybe he was sat down. A big ring, a big signet ring. It's not silver, unfortunately. That'll go in things lot. And a heart ring. Another heart ring. Who's this? Got a compact, a compact mirror. Look, it's you, it's you. Nelson, you think Nelson. It's one of them, isn't it? I'll put that in there. Oh, little angel pin. This is um, a button, but I can't remember who that is. I do, I do know somewhere. Clapham coins. There we go. Oh, that was me this morning as well, Nick. Just like, oh. Um, some clippies, but they're broken. That's a shame. They're missing their stones. A little this mother of pearl dangly ring. Yeah, that was especially for you, that one. Yep. Oh, a little made to look vintage, but I don't think it is. A little cameo ring. Quite pretty though, isn't it? I might consider selling that one just because I think it's it's kind of cute. Another one of those rings for the vintage lot. Harvest Moon, that's a song by Neil Young, isn't it? Let's go! Mario! Okay, some more little clippies. These little faux pearl clips. I definitely much rather pack than list, for sure. Unless it's breakables. Boo! <laughs> some little flowers. Earring, red nose day pin. This is all just tiny one off little bits. Now I think, I don't think I'm going to find that other gold earring in here. What are you? You're not a gold earring. You are a silver ring, but you've got a couple of marker seat missing, which is a shame. That would have been well pretty, but there's unfortunately three marker seat there missing. Shame. Oh, you like the boo, do you? You like the boo. Boo. <laughs> would you like him, Nick? There's a couple of links that might have come from that DKNY um, ring earlier. Ring? Watch. Right, come on, let's see these last bits. We have got a random pendant, the pendant slot. Penguin hair clip goes in broken. That one goes for the ring slot. Some beads you can get rid of. Beads. Right, broken earrings. 
beads. Oh, a little camel pin. <laughs> He's a little camel. Camel. Um, oh, pretties. Okay. Oh, in, I, do you know what these? Minimal chipping, minimal chipping. How cute. Little roses clip on. Aren't they cute? Might be tiny nibbles on one side of one petal. Need a little bit of a clean up. But I think they might be all right. I think they might have survived. So that's cool. Yay. We might have a survivor. Okay. Earrings, earrings, earrings. Oh, that's a nice earring. That's fun. I think we won. Bye, Nick. Oh, you, oh, Kath is, is doing plush today. Um, yeah, go to the auction house instead. Far more interesting. Ooh, right, have we got some... We might have a couple of gold earrings here. You never know. Right. This is what, we, what we're yet to check. There's only, there's only this left to check. Oh, earrings, earrings, dip, dip. <laughs> Want to see something that looks a little bit like a penis? Yay, everyone wants to see something that looks a little bit like a penis. Me. <laughs> there we go. That's fun. So that I don't tip pin dropped. Some random beady beady bits. I'm sure there are pairs of earrings in here, I'm just not finding them yet. Okay. I'm determined to find some more gold. Yeah, I'll find the gold. I mean, you always find gold in the last few bits. Those, them's the rules, surely. And maybe, maybe. Rules. Maybe, maybe silver, maybe silver, nope, silver pin, nope, nope, they're pretty, nope, 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 nope. Okay, these are our last hopes, people. Last hopes. Mushroom, can I buy it for, uh, you, you can. If you want me to keep aside the mushroom for you. Can't remember where I did put it, it's in here somewhere. But yes, you, you can, you can mushroom if you like. You're more than welcome to. Um, so I'm, I'm, I was trying to read your conversation and I don't understand what you're talking about, so I shall stop. Right, okay, let's look at these little bits and see if they are anything. And you are not. And you are not be your pretty pair of earrings, but you are not. So I put them in there anyway. Right. Um, nope. You're just a broken thing. You're not. You're not anything. Nope. Just these. These are our last hopes. Nope. <sighs> You're not because you've got a thing close. And then you might be a little bit of gold because I can see some tea staining. Possible. 
And oh, oh, hang on. What do you say? Think, think. That's eighteen carat gold. I think that says eighteen carat. So it's a shame that the other one isn't in here. But I mean, that's a couple of quid. You know, that's a couple of quid. So there we go. Tiny smidgy bit of gold there. And we were going to test these other little bits, weren't we? And test these other bits. So we've got a tiny smidgy of precious to test. Here's the mushroom. Do you want me to do scratch tests? Of course I will. Ugh, I don't fall off the chair. What's that? Reading a book about a dog trainer and this guy came to him and he said he has an issue with his dog. Every time the phone rang, his dog ejaculated. Um, his answer made me laugh. Can you guess what he said? He said to change his ringtone. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Give a dog a bonus. Right, well we know that's definitely silver and that's definitely silver, so we've got a little smidge of scrap of silver. And then I'm going to test that bit and that bit, and what did we think this bit was? We thought that bit might be gold, and that bit definitely is gold, and that bit definitely is gold. So we'll test the rest. So I'm testing this one. Oh no. Not silver, I'm afraid, this one, silver plated, but I still think it's a nice ring, and so I will still sell that one separately because I like it. And now we've got three little earrings, which we're hoping might be gold. Or well, three other little earrings, we already know two of them are gold. Sounds like a good book. <laughs> yes, all three are gold. It is a shame that um, we don't have matches for them, but beat again. But five little gold earrings for scrap. Or, I mean, I've never tried this before, but I've never tried selling solo gold earrings so that might be something I could give a try at some point because I've sold um, solo silver earrings so I don't know I don't see why it wouldn't work with gold no why not and I've got two 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 kilo lots definitely and then this is a uh, one and a half kilos haven't really got enough to make it up to another two kilo yet. Oh, the weight of this gold is probably, I'm guessing about two grams. Where, is, where are my scales? Is, where am that they go? It's written by the guy who turns <laughs> um, Okay. Come on. Right, the 18 karat gold is 0.32 grams. And then the other one's kind of hard to say because it's got, they've got gemstones in. So with the gemstones, weighs 1.8 grams of nine carat gold, um, except it's not, it's probably only half that. Um, but I still reckon I've got, I don't know, 20, 30 quids worth of scrap there. You know? Oh, shall I show you? Ooh, ouch, ouch, 
Ouch. I know I should save it for Sparkly Things video, but you can have a little sneaky peek. I bought this for £1.50 at the car boot sale on Sunday. It's only Elizabeth Duke, but it is a gold bracelet and it weighs two and a half grams. And I bought that for £1.50. So, that'll do. That'll do. And it's quite a nice bracelet, actually. It's a nice. That link chain there. So that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Whereas <sighs> I feel a lot more chilled out now, as you can probably tell. So that's good. So I'm gonna um, finish sorting these out into the lots. And I've got some nice things to sell for the people that um, wanted little bits give us a message um, either through Instagram or like email and stuff <coughs> or obviously through the, the Facebook page and things yay right thank you for joining me everyone it's been nearly two hours well done for if you have managed to to stay the length and things um, sorry there is no vlog today really didn't feel like vlogging today I was just too <sighs> you know but yeah nice to see you all and I shall see you all again soon bye bye now mm -hmm.